I have a tendency to buy stuff off of Temu no one needs. That's why I bought one of these, which basically is one of those, or supposed to be one of those eternal pencils where the tip isn't really graphite, but more something metal-esque that does get uh, used off w by time or with time, but at least holds a lot longer than a normal pencil. And that came, of course, with some extra tips. And I thought this is quite interesting because I bought it from Temu. Uh, Temu. Don't get me wrong, I like Temu, but I th it's highly possible that it is not the real thing that was uh, or became popular some months ago, I think. Anyway, I found this one and thought, yeah, okay, try it out. But then I got an advertisement for this second one, which has colored tips, which was highly interesting for me. <laughs> so I had to buy that as well. And I want to try that out today. What I want to do is use some of the paper I have a lot of because of boxes and uh, try out how these pens behave if you use them on your own pen pencils. If you use them f on your uh, on their own, if you use them on markers, if, they, if you use them on watercolor, and then we will make one final drawing. Maybe we are restricted by which surface they work on. Maybe we are not. We will see. But for that, let me first put some watercolor underneath. why I bought these is more or less because if they work nicely I have some variety of colors for on the go which I think would be quite nice. admit it's very easy to have a very light outcome with those and to make them darker is a bit more tricky when I look at this they are not as uh, opaque but you know I always struggle with colored pencils because I make it too hard or to dark right away, this might be a nice attempt or a nice thing for me to try out. Or to slowly build up until I'm at a point where I can go in harder. Hmm. I am surprised. You know, I really would like to know what material they are made of. And if you have any idea about that, just let me know. I th think the um, graphite ones are supposed to be made out of metal. I can't imagine these ones being made out of metal as well, because 
they are far too uh, colorful for being metal. It might be possible to get a nice gradient with these for once in my life. <laughs> I am far too heavy handed normally for gradients. I am surprised. So now let me take a look. Okay, they are not water soluble. And let's first use the soft eraser. Oh, yeah. Oh my. Let me try the they seem to be erasable. Let me take a stiffer eraser. I am surprised. Okay, where I did put on the layer quite thick, it does not erase, but everywhere else it does. I am surprised. <laughs> Let me just compare it to my um, Faber-Castell color grip, just to have an idea. They go on dark, uh, more pigmented, which I was expecting. Yeah, and see, I have to really control myself to make it blend as nicely. But, on the other hand, it doesn't get that pigmented. So, <clears throat> if you want something very pigmented, those are not for you. Do I want to use watercolor underneath, or do I just use them without anything underneath?
So, as a first feeling or a first resume on how they work, I would say if you are on vacation or on a journey, they do the job. You are able to color your sketches quite nicely without having to have a bunch of pens with you or pencils with you. Uh, but you are fairly limited color wise. And this is basically as dark as it gets. You don't have a lot of contrast in colors. I had to use the pencil for the roses. And let me just use this one rose, or for, let me just for this one rose, use my Faber-Castell. I know there are quality-wise not the best colored pencils, but they are basically what I have, so. Didn't I have a deep red? Doesn't look like it. Then we have to use uh, this one. Just to see how much variation we get. So, if we now compare the roses, this one and this one, I zoom you in a bit. The one that I made with the Faber Castell is a lot more vibrant, a lot more visible, a lot more defined. And I want you to keep in mind that I am rather bad with colored pencils and still I was able to get a rather nice result I would say with these with this rose I do get nice results with these as well and if you like this more lighter colored version those definitely might be nice for you and I, I have to say, I do like these ones for on the go. For that, they are fairly okay. But uh, yeah, I would only use them for sketches and not for complete drawings.
So, final verdict. They are okay. If you are a person who is sketching all the time, if you are on the train, on the bus, uh, anywhere, these are quite nice because you can store them in a small container and have a nice choice of colors. But if you have a choice, or if I would have a choice, I wouldn't reach for those. I am highly sure if my 18, 19 year old self would have those, I would be delighted back then because I could have colored some of my sketches. Um, especially when I had an idea in mind and forgot about it afterwards, after sketching, and didn't know anymore which color I wanted. But I would not actively reach for them. They are okay for on the go, but yeah, I would say that is it. I hope you found this video at all in any way, shape or form helpful, good or whatever. And yeah, I hope we will see us in another one. Until then. Bye.